Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up, it's Jojo and we are back in Disney Springs. So I forgot my SD card on my camera, so I'm actually gonna be vlogging on my phone today. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna check out the new m and store. I'm super excited. Let me show you these crowds real quick. Now it is a Saturday afternoon around one o'clock and this is how many people are already here today. So just keep that in mind when you're coming to Disney Springs for yourself. It does get busy, especially on Saturdays. Now the M&M store just came out today actually. It was not really announced. They wanted to do like kind of like a quiet opening because you know, when they announced that Gideon's was opening, there was a bunch of Oh, hey, thank you, I appreciate it. Anyways, they didn't want people swarming the M&M store today. So I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, Kyle went this morning, there was no line. I don't know how it's gonna be now, but we'll see. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Thank you to Patreon. We're actually only three members away from hitting our goal of 50. That'd be dope if we can get that. Uh, and thank you, YouTube members. All right, guys, let's get this vlog started. Honestly, I've been coming here pretty early on Fridays, so I haven't seen these crowds, but yep. Definitely gets crowded on a Saturday. I'm surprised. I thought these crowds wouldn't get here for a little bit longer, but again, it's around 12 30, 1 o'clock now. And this is the line to get in. This is the temperature check line, and there's a line for security. And there is the new MM stores. Welcome to MMs. They've done so much in such little time. Oh man, I see a line. I wonder how long it's gonna take cool little place to take pictures of M&M's because Valentine's Day is coming up. They have that little hearty M&M thing going on in the background there. So the line doesn't seem that bad right now. It's just going around this corner here. So we're going to time it right now. It's 1230. Let's see how long this takes. Also check out the new Baby Yoda merchandise. Super dope. I love it. Also, thank you to everyone who purchased some of the Dreamers merchandise drink around the world showcase. Really appreciate you guys. If you haven't, make sure you go check it out. Top right corner if you want to learn more about it. They're using social distancing tape. They're making sure the tape works. They're replacing the tape, making sure everything is spick and span. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun to watch. Whoa! Whoa. Amazing! Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome to the store. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? So there's a virtual this is, queue for the yeah for the personalized area. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm good today, but thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> so we've been waiting for about 12 minutes now. We're getting close to go inside. Basically, what that cast member just came up to me to ask about is there is a Eminem customizer that you can do, but there's a virtual queue for that. Interesting. We'll have to check it out when we go inside. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How are we doing? Eminem, doing great. Good morning. Thank you. Well, for your health and safety, face masks are required. They do have little baskets here. I'm okay. I'm just looking around for now. Thank, thank you, though. Wow, so colorful in here. They have exclusive Eminem Disney merchandise right here. You can see the Eminems are wearing the Mickey Mouse hat. This actual like Eminems with Mickey's in them. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Now that's really cool. I'm assuming you can only get that here, so. If there's anything that's worth to come in, is definitely the exclusive merchandise collab. Wow. I'm getting very similar vibes to New York City right now, because when I was a kid, I lived in New Jersey, so we go to New York City all the time, and they have had an M&M Center there for a very long time, so it's weird seeing it all the way in Disney now. It's cool though, it does have its own little like personal touches of springs and Disney World in general. Coming in right away, I can tell that their big takeaway is that they have an exclusive Disney Springs merchandise. Look at that. If you're an M&M's fan, you definitely gotta come to this place. Doesn't seem too packed in here either. I think they're doing a good job making everyone feel safe and keeping as low capacity in the actual store, which is always cool. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but this is actually in the shape of a heart. You know, they're using the pink and red and white M&Ms. During the seasons, this will change. So that's always a little fun detail about the store. And unfortunately, it's starting to look like a Valentine's Day. Valentine's is gonna be kicking off here in Disney World in the next couple of days. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share so that you can keep up with me. But here we are, we have some Valentine's Day merchandise in the m and store. Wild. 
Now, the one thing I find interesting is that I thought they were gonna have like a section where there was only gonna be like exclusive like Disney Springs slash M&M's merchandise. However, looking throughout the store, they have Mickey Disney stuff all over the place, which is cool. They have an M&M's mirror coming soon. Obviously, they don't wanna activate that right now just to the fact of social distancing. So I'm sure when things go back to normal, we'll be able to see that. Home and baking over there. Now, this is huge. This is, uh, a mix and match of over a hundred different M&M flavors. Look at this, that's insane. There is a ton of different flavors here. Look at this, even coming up, you got a rainbow mix, you got character mix, colorful blast, Mickey mix, mini mix, spring mix, mermaid mix, romance mix, unicorn mix, ocean mix. They have Skittles, caramel, crispy, dark, mint, minis, pretzel, coffee nut, uh, what's this one, fudge brownie, uh, cheesecake, and the, uh, Oh, and sugar cookie, that one's cool. But the list goes on and on. There's so many flavors here, over a hundred that you can mix and match with, that's dope. I'm not getting any today, but any M&M's fan, you gotta do this. Always making new friends, even in the M&M store, shout your stuff out, man. Hi, I'm Jonathan. <laughs> His name is Jonathan. We have the same name, and I love that. Are you having a good time so far today? Yeah. This is pretty cool, right? Were you yeah. expecting all of this? Not really. No, dope. So what, what, what's your favorite part of this store, you think? Uh, probably the wall. Yeah. The wall is pretty dope. Great spot for pictures. Thanks for saying hi, man. They're really on top of like the February Valentine's Day stuff. As you see, let's get personal. You can basically personalize messages on M&M's. Uh, bottle in a gift tube, large heart, small heart. You can customize and put anything you want on these M&M's. There's about a 45 to 50 minute wait right now. As you see, they only have one printer available. So be prepared to wait a little bit to personalize your own M&Ms. So this is where you would actually design your M&Ms. Just you click on it and then you can talk about, welcome, here's the deal, follow these five steps, design your M&Ms, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. So you put in your first email, last name. We're gonna skip that just to see what's available. Uh, you can do text. And you can type in whatever you want on your M&Ms. And then they, after you're done, we'll print it out here. Pretty cool. Whoa, someone was typing inside of the JoJo's world. Who did that? I don't know. However, that's the font limit. You can't go too much longer than that. You can also add icons. Boom. Boom. Disney. Epcot. Check out our new merch. Woo! Also, the music is... Popping in here. Hey, hey. This is what checkout looks like. Always have fun. Pretty cool store, though. Pretty cool store, I have to say. I am in them Disney Springs. Wow. What's your favorite? You got the family lounge stuff here as well. Family pajamas. Oh my gosh, they got everything here. Very cool. Also, I had no idea that M&M's were the first candy in space. Very, very cool here. M&M character blankets, $5. And as you're leaving, it says thank you in many different languages. They're saying bye to you. A lot of cool history here too. You can see how all the M&M's look over history. That's how they started. That's kind of creepy. Wow. And on my way, I had to go up to the statue. Look at this. He's taking a selfie with him. Is there anything on the phone though? No. That would have been cool though. Still a cool picture spot for sure. It was pretty dope in there. I'm surprised there wasn't a second floor. However, the exclusive Disney merchandise that you can get in there only here makes up for it. You gotta check it out for yourself. Definitely a great addition to Disney Springs. It's definitely gonna add some life down here. This side is gonna get a little more busy. And I can tell you right now that this line is probably gonna get longer. It hasn't really been announced. It just got announced like maybe 10 minutes ago. So this place is gonna definitely have a longer line in the future. So if you wanna get here for yourself and not wait in lines, I would recommend do what Kyle did. Get here in the morning. But other than that, be prepared to wait a little bit. There will be a wait time. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be as bad as Gideon's. I think some of the hype will die down in the next two weeks, however. Be prepared to wait 45 minutes to an hour. And on my way out, Springs is definitely popping on Saturday. They have live music right here. People are all at the bar. Looking over here, Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew actually has their virtual queue open today. I've never seen that before. So needless to say, they're getting some traffic today as well. As Disney Springs starts to get more crowded for the night crowds, I'm about to head out. M&M store was amazing. I loved it. You guys got to come check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, 
make sure you go ahead like subscribe share ring that bell i've known i've been doing a lot of videos at springs recently but i'm always liking to cover new things so if you want to always be updated on the newest stuff make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel thank you guys so much for watching as you can see people are starting to show up it's not too bad right now but definitely i recommend if you are coming to springs at any time and it's your first time try to come during the week or early in the day because at nighttime it gets very crowded and it can be a little you know overwhelming if you're not used to it so anyway again thank you so much remember i say this at the end of all of my videos every day is a blessed day to be alive and i truly mean that 2021 has been starting off on a great foot and it only get better from here so thank you guys so much and like always every day is a blessed day to be alive and i'll see you in the next one peace love y'all thank you so much bye